Hey guys, there's a video on how to configure the input and how to navigate the menu. So once you power everything on, this is where you'll start off at. You'll hold the button for two seconds. You'll end up inside of uh, the configuration. You will assign each of these up, down, left, right, start. Select is gonna be your coin key and then a, B, X, Y, L, R, and then the rest of these you will skip past. So left trigger you'll skip, you'll hold down a button for two seconds, and then let off, and you will do that on each of these until you get down to hotkey enable. does take a second because there is quite a few which are the analog uh, controllers that you won't be using on here. Once you get down to hotkey enable, your hotkey is going to be your coin button. That allows you to now exit out of games with coin and start. So you hit OK, it'll take a second to configure everything and save those settings. Once you do that, this is where you will start off at. The A button is always going to be your select button to go into any of the systems and scroll through. You can left and right on the joystick. B will be your back button. So again, A and then B. And then your start button is your main menu. If you want to change the themes, you can go to UI settings and go down to themes and that will give you all of your themes to choose from. And then the B button, again, will back you out of this. Once you go into a game, you will hit A to go into a game. It will configure and then load up. You will see the button layout. It'll take a second to load the game. Once the game loads up, if you want to exit out when you're finished playing, you will hit start and coin at the same time. And that will then take you back to the game selection menu.